What's up good people? This is Michael Woodland from M-W Tactical and today we're going to talk about eye protection that I use from Hunter HD Gold. Alright, so how many times have you heard different people talk about various eye protection that it is the latest, it's the greatest, it's the best out there? Now, I'm not saying this and in no way, shape or form has Hunter HD Gold paid me to say anything like this. But to be honest, I don't even think Hunter HD Gold knows that I'm even doing this video. But I want to share with you my experience with an eyeglass company that I determined to be the best out there. Now, the reason why I say that is there's pros and cons to everything you deal with with gear revolved around shooting or life or both you know so when i look at certain things i look at it for the value that it brings yes i wear hunter hd goals when i'm out shooting competition right i've already stated that if you watch the videos of me shooting you see me wearing those glasses every weekend they are eye protection. They protect my eyes when I'm shooting. So if something was to happen, um, a firearm blows up in my hand or a shell or dirt or something gets in my eye, those glasses are supposed to protect me, right? So there are other companies that do the same thing. But what makes Hunter HD Goals stand out from every other company is the technology they use in their lenses, okay? so. I have four pair of Hunter HD Goals, and each pair is for a different use. So let's weigh this and let's look at this. Okay, so the first pair that I have is the Velocities. So here's a picture coming onto the screen of the Velocities. Now the only reason I don't have the pair of Velocities with me right now is because I let my buddy from Fortitude Consulting use these glasses because he's never shot with Hunter HD Goals before. We did a match in Spartanburg and I allowed him to use my Archer um, frame glasses that are Hunter HD Gold as well. And he was like, wow, these are remarkable. I've always heard people talk about them, but I never put a pair on my face. So I told him, look, I have enough pair of Hunter HD Goals, so you can use these pair of glasses, you know, and just give them back to me whenever you're ready to give them back to me. So he was like, okay. But if you're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, look up Gil at Fortitude Consulting and he will help you with shooting or the red dot as well. So he is now a believer that the Hunter HD Gold experience is real. And I'm not just saying it's real because of the fact I have Hunter HD Golds or you, know, you see their logo on my shirt and on my website. The product truly works. When I say truly works, it really works. All right, so now, there are times when you talk to people or you watch various videos and you see people when they put the glasses on, the first thing they do, wow! I never had that experience, All right? The wow factor came to me maybe after having the glasses for about three weeks and it was in the middle of a match. Now, the first pair of Hunter HD Goals that I actually ended up getting were the Velocities, all right? So I did pay for the Velocities through, I think it was Ben Stoger's Pro Shop or one of the stores, I can't remember which store it was, but I actually ended up buying it um, from the store. Now, the outside thing about these glasses is they're pretty pricey. And once again, you get what you pay for. So if you understand the science behind all this stuff, it will make total perfect sense to you. If you want the breakdown, go back and find the M-W Tactical Podcast interview with Brian Conley of Hunter HD Gold. And he talks about the whole process of how many hands go through making one lens. I think it's something like 23 people it goes through to make the lens work. All right, so I also have these pair, which are called the gauge. The gauges, 
I see a couple people wearing this on the range. My buddy Lucky actually had a pair of these and he actually expressed to me um, with this type of lens by being clear, when the sun hits it, you might see the, the light change differently within the glasses. I never had that experience before, but he claimed he had that experience. But one thing I do is, because these are prescription, these stay in my vehicle and this is what I drive with. So the best part about it is, is you can get these Hunter HD Gold glasses with prescription. That's a plus, all right, in my personal opinion. Now, the other plus side to Hunter HD Gold is you don't have to only stick to the Hunter HD Gold line of frames. Whatever frames you have, you can send them in and get the Hunter HD Gold lenses put in them, right? It's their custom shop. So you don't have to worry about paying all that money for products from Hunter HD Gold. The only thing you gotta worry about is, hey, I have this lens, I mean, these frames from company A, but I want your lenses on this frame. They can accommodate that for you, right? So you don't have to give up your favorite pair of lenses for a product that you like and you're weighing the difference between the two. Put the two worlds together and now you got the best experience possible for you when it comes to eye protection. So my first season, as I stated to you, I was wearing the Velocities, all right? My second season of shooting with Hunter HD Gold, because I only shot maybe four months with the Velocities, really liked them because one thing it did that I liked more, it blocked off my peripheral vision so I can only really focus on where I had to go. My next season, what I decided to do was go to the Archers, okay? So, of course, you know, talk to various other people and um, shooting with these on, it opened my eyes to an advantage that the velocities didn't give me, right? So once again, it gave me a broader view of spectrum of where to go when I was shooting. Now, the downside to the archers with me is when I would wear them all day, eventually it started feeling tight around my face right here, all right? And I did talk to Brian about them. So if you go back and you look at the videos um, that I have up on Instagram and YouTube, you can see I am shooting with these glasses on that are the archers, all right? So what I actually ended up doing after talking with Brian and everything, um, if you see him at a match, he has glasses that he allows you to use when you're shooting just so you could say, hey, I like that, okay, I wanna buy a pair. Or you can just buy them from them at the match. So when we was talking, Brian gave me a pair of these, right? And this is from his custom shop. So, you know, Brian is um, connected to the eyeglass industry some type of way. I'm not familiar with that stuff, but you remember, only job I ever had in my life was working in the United States Army. Now a firearms instructor. But, this right here are a pair of lenses from his custom shop. And in the same sense of speaking, these are more comfortable to me versus the archers, you know? But they both provide the same thing. Neither one of these are prescription because when I shoot, I can actually see the front sight clear. It's just I have a problem with seeing objects further than normal, you know, whereas my prescription glasses makes it whereas I can see further distance better. I still haven't determined which one is nearsighted or farsighted and how they came up with that conclusion. So when I tell people, I just can't see far. But prescription actually works for me. But these are the ones that I actually shoot with and they're a lot more comfortable on my face than the archers. So basically what takes place with me is these are my backups, which are the archers, and the custom frame ones are my primaries when I go to a competition match. Now, if somebody is in need of glasses, more than likely, they would either use the Velocities that I allow Fortitude Consulting um, to use, or I'll allow them to wear the Archers, you know? And of course, you know, I had one buddy decide to wear the Archers one time and he didn't like them. But once again, 
they're not for everybody, especially it takes some time to get used to. Once again, some people put them on and instantly it's the, wow, these are the greatest and you know, the latest and greatest. For me, like I said, it took some while, a while for that factor to kick in for me to have that wow factor. So some of the pros that you have with the Hunter HD Go glasses are as simple. They are eye protection, right? So they do meet that um, impact standard uh, rating for it to be considered eye protection. When I actually wear the Hunter HD Goals, whether it be prescription or the regular ones, there's no stress on my eyes. <laughs> there's a process, whereas it blocks out certain rays from the sun that prevents me from squinting like this all day in the sun. So majority of the time, you always see people when they're wearing darker shade glasses is to prevent that squinting effect from happening. These actually do them. And like I said, wearing them for a week, I was like, wow, I was actually impressed. No stress on my eyes. Someone who suffers from headaches, right? It cut back on the headaches, you know, because my eyes wasn't as stressed out as they were without the glasses. Um, same thing with the uh, prescription. You know, when I'm driving, I have these on, there's no stress on my eyes coming from, you know, the rays of the sun, all right? Another benefit that you have with these glasses are the light stays constant. So let's just happen to say I walk out of the house at eight o'clock in the morning and it's um, sunrise. So as soon as um, the light, you know, from the sun hits the glasses, and of course, when it gets to a certain point, what's gonna end up taking place is it's like a switch is flipped and the light stays constant throughout the day. So I don't have to worry about these glasses getting lighter or darker throughout the day. The light stays constant. It's remarkable how science is, but you have to try them for yourself to understand that. And like I said, I don't really understand the process of the technology that's behind these glasses, but it really does work. In that sense, as I stated beforehand, go back and look for the episode of the M-W Tactical Podcast where we had an interview with Brian of Hunter HD Gold, and he talks about the process of how these glasses are made. Now, another benefit you have with these glasses are when I use them in competition shooting and driving, they make certain colors stand out. All right. So, of course, when I'm shooting, I'm shooting a piece of cardboard that's brown. Right. And if it's a no shoot, it's white. Right. So one side of the target is white. The other side is brown. Right. So if it's on the white side, you don't shoot. Um, the white side because that's a no shoot target. The brown side is what you shoot for the scoring impact for the sport. These glasses actually make those targets stand out a little bit more, in my opinion. The same thing with the steel targets, right? Because normally your steel targets are painted uh, white spray paint and it makes it pop a little bit more whereas you're not really hunting for it. Now, remember I told you these are prescriptions for me, right? And even when I'm driving, it amazed me of how this worked. Because sometimes you can be driving in a car on an interstate around a, a curve. That vehicle can be blended in with the vegetation. But having these on, that eliminated that. What about the times when you're in certain cities like driving through Atlanta and you're going past um, the wall on the interstate? Right, and vehicles can blend in with that. So when they come in onto the interstate, you might not see it or whatever the case may be, depending on the time of day and how the sun is shining in the direction you're going. But once again, the Hunter HD Go, it eliminated that process. So that's one less thing you gotta worry about when you're driving because now I'm more aware with these glasses because of how it works and it's taking the stress off my eyes. Once again, I am not bigging up this company in the regards of, oh, these are Hunter HD Go's, they're the best. No. I am actually telling you real life experiences that I have with these glasses, all right? Another important thing that's happened with me with these glasses while I was driving, it was raining one time. 
And I mean, it was coming down. And on the East Coast, especially in the Atlanta area, because everybody who goes through Atlanta is not from Atlanta, so nobody knows how to drive in Atlanta. When it was raining, it was coming down. I mean, the bag was cut open, coming down. So of course, when you're driving like that, normally everybody you know, hits their brakes, starts slowing down or flashes come on. What I actually ended up doing, I put on the 100 HD goals. I, I don't know what made me decide to do that. I just put them on, right? And when I put them on, legitly, it's like I can see through the rain. It was an 18 wheeler, maybe eight to 10 cars in front of me bringing up the mist cloud. I put those 100 HD goals on, it cut through the mist cloud. I can legitly see. So I actually started driving a little bit better. I didn't slow down. I kept my speed constant where everybody else was slowing down, right? That was one thing that made me a believer. And I actually called Brian and stated that to him. He was like, yeah, that actually works. <laughs> and I was like, I was amazed about it. And we talked about that for maybe 30 minutes on the telephone and the advantages that these glasses give to you on a health side of things. So it's just something you might just want to try for yourself, you know, and seeing is believing. That's all I can really say, right? The other thing is the clarity that you get outside of these glasses. Now, by these being yellow lenses, you would think okay you're not going to get the real clarity that you think you're going to get but there is a process of time whereas it will take your eyes to get used to these glasses being yellow tint for me it took maybe about two to three weeks as i stated beforehand but when i got used to them the yellow tint don't bother me it's like i still see everything clear you know so the clarity of these make everything crisp and sharp and it stands out you know what i'm saying once again seeing is believing now if you're someone who works on a computer or you're on the computer all the time or you're even concerned about your children being on the computer or video gaming all day all night whatever the case may be 100 hd goals might be the answer for you also now once again i'm not just saying this just to say this but Everything I'm telling you, I've actually done it, tested it, okay? Beforehand, before I got my first pair of Hunter HD goes, what I did was I was in front of the computer and I'll be in front of the computer editing videos. I'll be sitting there for about an hour. I'll take about a 30 minute break, go back, work about another 45 minutes to an hour, go back and take another 45 minute break and then come back and do about another hour or so until I get all the videos complete that I want to work on. After I got the 100 HD goes and I did that process over again, before I knew it, I was in front of the computer for two hours, no strain on my eyes, wasn't squinting or anything. And like I said, the technology and the glasses, it cut down some of those rays that put that stress on your eyes also. So that might be a solution for those parents who are concerned about their children playing video games all day all night and they don't want them squinting or if you're somebody who works behind a computer all day and the regular glasses are not working for you 100 hd goals might be the solution for you just some food for thought um of course as i already stated go back and listen to the m-w tactical podcast where we're talking with brian about these glasses and he does tell the story of how they are originally made for hunting and it's kind of a remarkable story of how it led from hunting to the shooting sport to other sports as well and i even arranged it whereas my brother can get a pair for him to play golf with and he actually expressed to me that when he's hitting the golf ball, I never played golf again. So for those of you who play golf, if I'm butchering anything, you have every right to laugh at me and joke on me, but I will joke back. So just to give you a heads up. He was saying when he hit the golf ball, he can track it better um, in the sky. Whereas his friends, he understood like they was at a disadvantage. So he allowed one of his friends to use the glasses and they was all amazed at how easy it was for him to actually see the golf course and everything. There was another company that made another pair of glasses specifically for golf, but 
my personal opinion, I own a pair of those glasses, but I think Hunter HD Gold might have won that battle in the golf course um, situation. Only because, once again, I don't play golf, but using those golf glasses for shooting and then using the 100 HD goals for shooting, in my personal opinion, 100 HD goals won that battle hand down. You know, so there are all kind of things you can possibly do with this that I haven't touched, right? And these glasses are remarkable from a health standpoint. I would actually say if you want a pair, contact Hunter HD Gold and see if they will send you a pair that they can loan you for a little bit so you can try them or go to a retailer in your area that actually sells them and you can try them on because one thing it was, these don't sit the same as the Archers or your favorite pair of glasses. And when I say that is, when I'm driving with these, constantly I'm pushing them up on my nose because the nose guard on the glasses, um, they're kind of like just stuck in place. Whereas I got the pair of the Archers and it's just like a regular pair of glasses where I, I can adjust the nose bridge how I see fit. And of course, if you got your favorite pair of lenses that you sent in, you don't have to worry about that because it's already set for you or you can just readjust it however you see fit. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to the cons of Hunter HD Gold, I really don't have anything. I have two cons written down, all right? The first con that I have written down is when you're ordering a pair of Hunter HD Golds offline, you're at a disadvantage. And the only disadvantage is, is that if you never touched a pair or never seen a pair in person and trying them on, you don't know which one will feel comfortable for you. That's the disadvantage when ordering online. Um, of course, my first pair that I bought, I bought the Velocities online, but it was only because the people that I was shooting with, everybody who I was trying a different pair, I found the Velocities to be better. Now, this is before they came out with the Archers when I ordered the Velocities online. And even when you turn around and you look at it, you're still getting the product and Hunter HD Gold stands behind the product. So if you're not completely satisfied, you will get your money back if you decide to send the product back. I, I can uh, actually attest for that. Um, the other con that I have about Hunter HD Gold, which I already hit in the pro section was how the glasses fit on me. Because once again, the archers, you know, when I first put them on, they're comfortable, but after running around all day or whatever, I notice it's a little bit tight on the side of my face. Whereas with the custom ones, I don't have to worry about that because they're a little bit more loose. And half the time, I don't even realize I'm wearing them until it's like, oh snap, I still got the glasses on, right? Whereas when I'm driving, it now it's just customary when I hop in the vehicle, I just put these on and then when I get finished driving, I put them in there because I don't want to lose them. I don't want to mess them up. So they just stay in my vehicle. That's the only two cons that I really have with Hunter HD Gold. But if you actually have a pair of Hunter HD Golds, please leave your pros and cons in the comment section and we're going to come back and revisit this and hear what everybody has to say as a collective. So if you're interested in a pair of Hunter HD Golds, look below click on the link and see what all they have to offer. Now, one thing they do have is they have the gold line and then they have a red line. I never tried the red line, so I can't speak on it. I probably put them on one time and that was at the South Carolina State match maybe three or four months ago. And when I put them on, I just put them on and I just took them off. I didn't really give it an honest assessment, so I, I'm not going to say whether I liked them or not. Um, I can honestly say when I put them on, everything just seemed darker to me versus this right here seemed a lot lighter to me. So maybe I should get a pair and just try it out for a week and then come back and do a, a video on that as well. Hit me up if you want to get that video on the red line and we'll see what we can do. All right, so until next time. Y'all take care, keep shooting, keep practicing, and have fun, and be on the lookout for the M-W Tactical Podcast to make us return. Y'all have a great day.